So we were donated a 2024 uh, Ford Mustang from Midland Ford um, on the efforts of both corporate Ford and Midland. Um, and so this car has about 10 miles on it now. Um, so that'll give us uh, new technology um, for the students. And then also the fact that it's a Mustang gets them very excited. And so now I can uh, integrate this into curriculum. Okay, now I'm gonna ask what year do you think it is? 2025, new. It's a 2024 Mustang 5 liter, just standard GT. About a $70,000 window sticker on it. Ford had the opportunity where it came into some uh, 2024 Ford Mustangs that we could donate to high school uh, or college automotive programs. I reached out to Mikkel and I said, we have a, uh, a Mustang that, um, you know, would you be interested in donating it to the uh, automotive program at H.H. Dow? And of course, Mikkel, <laughs> Mikkel was like, absolutely. But yeah, so you guys know this car was actually oh, so supposed to, it was a retail order that somebody had ordered specifically and it was headed on a rail car to Florida. And then when uh, when the, the floods and everything happened down at the rail yard, uh, the water came up and so Ford could no longer sell it to customers. So then that's how it ended up being able for us to donate it to you guys. The cool thing about it though is they caught it so there was absolutely no water damage whatsoever inside. I would trust this car to drive to California and back. You know, there's no, no issues with it. The problem is most of these high school and college automotive programs, the vehicles that these young people have to work on are 10 years old or older. But yet we expect them to hit the ground running when they graduate high school and start working in the industry, right? So the fact that we're able to donate a 2024 vehicle um, to an automotive program like this um, just means these students will be that much more prepared uh, for their future and being able to hit the ground running. Uh, I've only been working on like 90s, 80s kind of because most of my trucks are older. Hi, my name is Gavin Larry. Um, I'm in Dalhai Auto Tech year 2024. This was a huge and amazing surprise. I love the newer cars. They are a little bit more computery for me, but they're still cool. Um, and having a new car is always nice. We're doing, a, in my basic class, my car care class, we have a tire inspection, and so they have to calculate tire sizes and do things like that, and tire pressure and those basic things. So we'll probably start with that. And then um, certainly next year we have a semester of electrical, um, so we'll learn more electrical and then diagnostics as well. Um, I'm actually already in the process of getting some Ford-specific diagnostic equipment so they can look at live data and those types of things. I do want to track like the electrical and see what all is actually connected to the electrical system. Um, I know that there's obviously like the heads up display in there and then you got your uh, TPS sensors and stuff like that. But I really want to like see what all is actually connected. Like are the mirrors connected? Like are the, um, are the running boards when they turn the lights on, are those connected? Like how are they connected? My favorite part of this whole presentation is seeing the young adults reactions when we unveiled the car. First hour kind of gave it away so they knew a little bit, but it was very fun to see them. And the excitement and surprise, it, it, I don't think that'll ever get old. Well, I, I'm just super thankful and, and blessed to Corporate Ford, Midland Ford, um, McKellen and Brian from Ford. Um, I'm thankful for just the entire process. It's taken us nine months to get to this point and just the generosity of Ford in general.